This tutorial will go over common operation parameters. These include spraying amount, height speed, and row spacing. Let's discuss their definitions and what precautions you should take. Spraying amount. The spraying amount is the amount of mixture sprayed on a certain area. The amount here refers to the mixture of pesticide and water, not just the pesticide amount. As the drone has a maximum spraying speed, the larger the spraying amount, the lower the flight speed. Different diseases, pests, and weeds require different spraying amounts. Generally, short crops and preventative operations require low spraying amounts, while leafy crops like trees and weeding operations require higher spraying amount. This parameter should be set based on your actual needs. Flow speed. The flow speed will be automatically adjusted based on the set flight speed after the spraying amount is set. Normally, the higher the flight speed, the higher the flow speed and vice versa. The number of open nozzles is determined based on the flow speed. Given the same spraying amount, fewer nozzles will open at a lower flight speed and vice versa. The T20 supports 4 nozzle and 8 nozzle modes. The T30 supports 12 nozzle and 6 nozzle modes and the T-10 supports 4-nozzle and 2-nozzle modes. Flight Speed The flight speed has a major impact on operational efficiency and performance. Given the same spraying amount, the higher the flight speed, the higher the efficiency. The flight speed also directly influences the downward wind field of the Agris drone. Within a certain range, the higher the speed, the weaker the downward wind field, and the weaker the penetration of droplets into the lower part of the crops. Therefore, a suitable flight speed should be selected based on the operation type. Dense crops and contact pesticides require a lower flight speed to improve the droplet penetration. Relative height above crops. This refers to the height from the crops to the radar and address drone. It determines the spraying width and the downward wind field. Although you can increase the spraying width to a certain extent by setting a higher flight height, the downward wind field of the droplets will decrease and droplet drift will increase. Therefore, a suitable flight height should be chosen for each model based on your actual needs. For T-Series Agris drones, a height of 2 to 3 meters is generally recommended. A higher flying height is allowed for spreading operations and crops prone to lodging. The route spacing is the width of the route, that is, the distance that the Agris drone moves laterally. The route spacing should be set to match the spraying width of the drone. If the route spacing is larger than the spraying width, some areas will not be sprayed. If the route spacing is smaller than the spraying width, some areas will be sprayed multiple times, which may cause phytotoxicity. Therefore, the row spacing should be set differently for different models. The maximum spraying widths of the T16, T20, T10, and T30 are 6.5 meters, 7 meters, 5.5 meters, and 9 meters respectively. The operation parameters should be set after considering the region, crop, type of disease or pest, harmfulness, type of pesticide, and other factors. No one set of parameters is suitable for all operations. Taking a rice field as an example, soil sealing weeding operations require lower amounts and speeds, while stem and leaf application weeding requires higher spraying amount and lower flight speed to ensure effectiveness.